Agora TV. The world is thinking. Now, I first went to Nigeria in 2008, and I saw all the things I just shared with you so briefly, and I was pretty devastated. And I wrote home to my husband, who is a solar educator, and I explained to him the conditions. And he said, you know, I think we can work on three of them. I think we can help with the electricity, the lighting, and the communication. And so we came back and came up with an organization that we call We Care Solar. We Care stands for Women's Emergency Communication and Reliable Electricity. And the idea is to try and use solar power in order to provide lighting, mobile communication, and power for some of the equipment that lays dormant in the hospital, including a blood bank refrigerator. And so he designed a very common type of standalone solar electric design for each of the main wards of the hospital that would help to uh, achieve better maternal health care. So he, had, he made a design for the maternity ward, the labor ward, the operating room, and the laboratory. But before bringing it there, I said, you know, I really want to show my Nigerian colleagues what you're thinking of and make sure they like this idea. One of our ideas was to bring walkie-talkies to them for communication. Another was to use high-efficiency LED lights. I said, I want to make sure that those lights would really satisfy their needs to do surgery at night. Because it turned out at the point when I was visiting, they were sending patients away who were desperately ill, sometimes at night, just because they didn't have the lighting to do C-sections. So what he did is he made a set that would fit inside my luggage that I could bring and show to my Nigerian colleagues simply as a demonstration. And what he did was train me for a week in solar electricity so I could put together some of these things and actually show them just a small demo of what he had in mind. Well, it turned out that the staff not only liked the demonstration, they asked if I could leave everything there and could they use that until we got together the resources to put in a larger system. And so while we were trying to collect the funds for that, we did leave that system in place, powering batteries for headlamps, powering walkie-talkies. And these are some of the before and after pictures of what it was like for the uh, health personnel to provide care when they had something as easy as an LED headlamp that was charged by solar recharged batteries. The other thing we did was we gave two-way radios to everybody who was needed for an emergency C-section. So rather than have a messenger run around a hospital compound, every guy could be notified within minutes. And so it enabled them to do much more surgery uh, and see many more patients than they had before without delays. Then we did bring in a larger installation, larger solar panels that allowed the maternity ward to go from this to this, and the operating room to go from something that looked like this to this. And I, bring in, I want to point out that this only has 15 watts of LED light bulbs. So for about a quarter of the power you would need for a light bulb in your own lamp at home, if you use incandescents, we were able to light up the whole operating room. We also were able to bring in a solar-powered blood bank refrigerator that we were powering off of the system. And through this work, we were able to help them to provide blood transfusions to see more patients and to have a drop in maternal mortality. The maternal mortality rate actually dropped about 70% in the hospital just from those interventions. And staff members said they were no longer afraid to work at night and they felt like they could do their job.